I'm with Nikki Chance Thompson, Chief Executive of the Peace Hub, responsible for all of what's about to happen. Absolutely. With our partners Cuff and Taylor, um, this is when all the magic starts in the summer. Can't wait. Why did you want to do this? Well, I think Halifax and Calderdale deserve it. We've got this amazing building, which is just, it almost feels like it was created for large events and things like this. And the whole town comes alive when this happens. And it's really good for the economy and it's really good for people's soul as well. So that's why we do it, is to bring a bit of joy to everyone. Yeah, live music lifts spirits, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, how much of an appetite for live music is there in Halifax? It seems to be a big appetite. Um, all, of our so all of our shows are now sold out and it's just absolutely incredible. As soon as we put things on sale, they go within minutes. So there's something about people experiencing music in this venue which is really special and very magical. And those who have experienced it want to come back and then they talk to others who then want to come and experience what they've experienced. So it's just amazing. We've been blown away actually. Tell me about the logistics of making this happen. It's a big machine, it takes months of planning, um, very hard work, lots of committed and passionate people that want to make it work. Um, but we've got a great relationship with Cuff and Taylor, they're experts at events, part of Live Nation. And so working with them has been a real privilege because you get to learn how to do it really well. Um, but the team just love what they do and I think it shows in what we deliver and how the artists feel when they get here. So it's a real joy to do it. And how are the people of Halifax about you taking over the whole town? They love it because well, the whole town, as I said, it, it comes alive when the events are on and everyone feels lifted, there's a lot of joy, there's a lot of pride actually because these big artists want to come and play in little old Halifax. And, and some of them are asking to play here. You know, Peter Taylor um, said that Boy Genius, one of the bands that are playing in August, said, how do we get to play the Peace <laughs> Hall? You know, it's just incredible. One of the, the hottest bands at Coachella yeah. this year, yeah. asking to come to Halifax. Yeah. And wanting to play here, you know, the, this is a girl band that brought Austin, Texas Airport to a standstill when they were in there. And, yeah, they want to come here. And I think artists are curious because they've seen Noel Gallagher play here, Duran Duran play here, Tom Jones play here. And they're saying, what's this place? So there's a curiosity of a place yet undiscovered for artists to play in. How does it work on show days then in terms of the normal day to day business in the piece hall and what happens at night? It's completely different. I mean, it's um, it's a big production site. It's a big stage, basically. The courtyard becomes the stage for the day. And so it's filled with people who are all working, trying to get everything finished, ready for the night, ready to receive the artist. So it, it changes its personality. It suddenly becomes a great big venue as opposed to a heritage building with shops and things. That's all, that's all still goes on throughout the course of the day, but in the evening it just transforms into this magical event space. What's the capacity? The capacity is up to 5,800. Um, 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 you feel it when those people are in here. You feel the energy of those people in here. And it's a really lovely number because it's not too big and it's not too small. So the artists have said we still feel that intimacy with our audience and the audience can feel that intimacy with the artist. So it works really well. And it's more than just a corporate season, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, this, this is about doing things for the economy of Calderdale, the economy of Halifax. It's about how we encourage other talent into the area. And we're working with Live Nation on an exciting project where we're going to get young people um, into music by opening up an academy, the Peace Hall Academy. And so we want young people in Halifax and Calderdale to have the opportunity to work in music. Wow. That's a big deal. Yeah. Exciting. So 15 young people will be taken through music production, music technology. We're also working with the local music trust, so we'll have young people learning instruments and music in front of the curtain and then how to deliver the music behind the curtain. So I'm really excited about that. And the traders, they see benefits over the course of the, the whole season, right? They really do, because over 100,000 people are coming into Calderdale over <laughs> the next few months. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not always popular because the car parks get full. Um, but that's, that's new people visiting the area, that's, you know, that, that's new shoppers, the hospitality's very busy. And what we find is people come for a concert and then they come back 
to visit the Peace Hall when all of the infrastructure isn't in here, so they come and shop and experience the building. Nikki, thanks so much. Thank you, Chris.